Posting videos to your Instagram feed can be tricky as it is currently only visible through the app. This is especially true if you are running an Instagram business account and you want to post professional looking videos you have shot using a digital camera which requires editing before being posted. Posting these to your Instagram feed via the app can be a labor intensive process and is likely to include a fair amount of frustration especially if you want to add custom thumbnails. Luckily, there is a way you can ease the pain and do this directly from your computer without having to pay for a third party tool or use suspicious software. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your videos to the right Instagram format, how to include cracking thumbnails to them and how to load them easily from your computer directly to your phone. I will also show you how to set up templates from the start so it makes the process even faster the second time around. All of it for free. I'm Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk where I help small business owners like you with their online marketing efforts step by step and click by click. If you don't want to miss any of my tips and tricks, why don't you subscribe to my channel today and click on the bell button so you get notified as soon as I publish a new video. A quick thumbs up would be really appreciated too. First things first, a word of warning. You may have already watched some tutorials showing you how to add videos to your Instagram feed using a software called Gambler. This software is great at first as it makes loading videos to your feed super fast and simple. But beware, it will take over some of your account functionalities and will start following people you don't know automatically and liking pictures randomly. This is all automated, which means there is a risk your Instagram account will be banned. So I wouldn't recommend using this tool. That said, let's start with our first step, editing your video. To do this, we're going to need a video editor. Head over to shotcut.org. Shotcut is an open source cross-platform video editor and it's free. Other options are available, but Shotcut is very easy to use. To download the software, just click on the click to download button and select which version of the software you want to download. Click on the all link to see all options available. For our demo, I'm going to use the Windows version. Once installed, open the program. This is a default view you should see on your screen. If you don't see this layout, I recommend you go to view, layout, and choose the Timeline Project option. Before we go any further, let's briefly talk about Instagram video aspect ratio. Instagram uses unconventional video dimensions due to the fact that the content is generally produced using mobile phones. You will therefore have to be very careful to use the correct dimension when editing your videos before publishing them. There are four recommended standard video dimensions. For the classic square format, go for 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. If you're posting an Instagram story, it's recommended you use 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. For a landscape look, choose 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And if you are interested in a portrait format, then the recommended dimensions are 1080 by 1350 pixels. Let's create our first video using the portrait format 1080 pixels by 1350 pixels. I'm going to import on my workspace a video I have already created to those dimensions, which I want to edit and add a customized thumbnail to. To do this, go to Open File and fetch the video you want to work on. The video will automatically start playing. To start working on the video, simply drag and drop it on your timeline, like this. Once on your timeline, you can start moving it, cutting frames out, adding text and many special effects which I won't cover here as it would take too long. What I want to do today is show you how to load it on your Instagram account. Verify on your timeline your video is not too long by dragging your slider to the end of the video and checking the length in this little box. Remember, Instagram video's length can only be as long as 60 seconds. If your video is exactly 60 seconds, shorten it to 59 seconds. Why? Because you want to add a custom thumbnail to your video. 
By default, when loading a video, Instagram will display the first frame of your video as the thumbnail of your feed. What you want is a fully customized thumbnail that is in line with your brand, your color scheme, etc., which will encourage viewers to click through and watch the video. To do that, you need to create an image you can slot right at the beginning of the video. This is the image that will automatically be pulled into your Instagram feed and will be used as your thumbnail. That's why we need to allow one second on the timeline to slot the thumbnail in. Time to move on to step two. Create thumbnails for any Instagram video format. Head over to canva.com and log in using your preferred option. If you're not familiar with canva.com, it is a graphic design tool that helps you create stunning banners, posters, headers, thumbnails and much more using drag and drop technology. It's very easy to use and preloaded with tons of free images and predefined templates cut to size for all your social media platforms, which makes it a must to use tool. There are many options available such as funky text, special effects, etc. And although not all the images and templates are free, there is enough free stuff on there to create great graphics. Unfortunately, despite having a lot of predefined templates, it doesn't have what we need for our Instagram video thumbnails. The challenge is, as we've already seen, you can create landscape and vertical video format types on Instagram, but all thumbnails in your feed are square. If you create a thumbnail to the same dimensions of a landscape or portrait video, it will get chopped off. Worry not, I have created the exact set that you need, which you can import directly into Canva so you can design the perfect thumbnail for any video format. To download the set, go to rankingacademy.co.uk slash Instagram dash set dash download. I have also added the link in the description below. So let's create a thumbnail for our portrait video of 1080 by 1350 pixels. On the left hand side of your screen, click on create a design. On the top right hand of your screen, select the custom dimension option and set the size to 1080 by 1350 pixels. Give your file a name. Let's call this one 1080 times 1350 to make things easy. On the left hand side menu, choose the upload option, then click on the button upload an image. If you've downloaded my image set, select the image called 1080-1350-portrait. Drag and drop the image on the canvas and stretch it so it fits the exact dimensions of 1080 by 1350 pixels. Once your image is set up, click on the lock icon on the top right hand side and start creating your thumbnail. The orange part of the image is the area where you should design your thumbnail. Anything outside of the orange space will be chopped off in the Instagram feed, so be careful. You can add images, copy and special effects, etc. Once you are happy with your design, just click on the publish button and download. Save this somewhere on your computer. The great thing about Canva is that it stores the design you create, so the next time you need to create a thumbnail for the same type of video, you can reuse the previous one as a template. Just go back to the home page, select the All Your Design option, and choose the 1080-1350 image. Choose the Use as Template option, and you are ready to go. Great for consistency. Let's now go back to Shotcut and add our thumbnails to our video. Go to Open File and fetch your thumbnail. Add your thumbnail to the beginning of your timeline and readjust the clip if you need to. To verify it's all working OK, click on the play button in the video player. You should see the thumbnail flashing. You're now ready to export your video. Click on the export button and choose timeline as an option. At the bottom of the panel, click on the export option and save the video somewhere on your computer. Give it a name and click save. From the job panel on the right hand side, you should now see your video downloading in the location you've chosen. Step 3. Upload your video to your Instagram feed. 
For this step, you're going to need to create an account with yet another service called Dropbox. If you don't know what Dropbox is, it's simply a virtual file sharing and storage facility which you can use across devices. Dropbox has a free service called Classic, which allows you to store up to 2 GB of space and can be accessed across three devices, which is more than enough for what we want to do. Simply create an account using your preferred method. I'm going to sign up using Google. Once you've signed in, you can upload your file from the main screen right here. When your video has finished loading, it will show up in your recent items. Now, grab your phone and download the Dropbox app. Log in and open the app. Make sure you choose the basic account when you first log in. Once logged in, you should see your video in there. Tap the video once, then the three dots on the top right hand side. Select the export option and save it to your phone. Go to your Instagram account and load the video. Once your video is loaded, check your feed. Your thumbnail should be the exact size you need it to be. And that's it. The beauty about this process is that once you've set up the initial accounts and templates, you won't have to do it again, and loading videos will be a lot faster and a lot more consistent with your overall business image. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comment below. And until next time, happy marketing.